This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448789-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5, Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, or by phone at 386 943 5367 or email at jennifer.smith and the number 2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is located along Washington Street, State Road 526 in Orange County and extends approximately 0.85 miles from Orange Blossom Trail, US 441, to west of I-4, State Road 400. The surrounding property along the entire project limit is predominantly residential along the north side and commercial industrial along the south side. The existing posted speed limit is 30 miles per hour. The speed will be reduced to 25 miles per hour as part of speed management measures being implemented along this corridor. Within the project limits, there are two signalized intersections, Westmoreland Drive and Paramore Avenue, where signalization and lighting upgrades are planned. The goal of this project is to improve the roadway through repaving and constructing safety improvements along the two-lane undivided corridor. The project team has coordinated closely with local stakeholders, including the City of Orlando, Metro Plan Orlando, and Lynx, about this stimulus-funded project. The improvements we will show this evening are recommended solutions to achieve our goals. Your feedback is important to make sure these are the right improvements for the surrounding community. In addition to repaving the travel lanes, safety enhancements currently planned include improving and repaving the bike lanes and providing continuous sidewalks. Two speed management features the department is implementing in this project are raised pedestrian crosswalks and speed tables at multiple locations along this segment of Washington Street. This will help encourage safer driving speeds through the corridor and will help enhance pedestrian safety. These potential strategies are part of the FDOT's effort within its projects to consider all available tools to help make state roadways safer for all users. There is one existing typical section along Washington Street extending from Orange Blossom Trail to immediately west of I-4. This section currently has one 11-foot wide travel lane and a 4-foot wide bike lane in each direction. Currently, there are no continuous bike lanes through the intersections of Washington Street at Westmoreland Drive and at Paramore Avenue. There are sidewalks that run along the north and south sides of Washington Street. Intermittent roadway lighting exists along the corridor. The existing 11-foot wide travel lanes are proposed to be reduced to 10 feet to make room for wider 5-foot wide bicycle lanes. The larger and continuous bicycle lanes will provide for better safety for bicycle users. 
Also, the existing eastbound and westbound left turn lanes at Westmoreland Drive and Paramore Avenue are proposed to be eliminated, making way for continuous bicycle lanes through those two signalized intersections. There will be no changes in access for side streets or driveways. Improvements are proposed at the signalized intersections and side streets with a main focus on safety. High emphasis crosswalks are proposed at all intersections, with a few crosswalks planned to be constructed as raised crosswalks. These raised crosswalks will enhance safety and provide speed management. Two intersections where raised pedestrian crosswalks are proposed to be constructed are at Terry Avenue and Division Avenue. Additional improvements include countdown pedestrian signals and intersection lighting to provide better safety for bicyclists and pedestrians. Here is a before and after illustration showing the proposed raised pedestrian crosswalks at Terry Avenue. Proper signage will accompany the raised crosswalks, providing notice to the oncoming vehicles of the raised crosswalks. According to the Federal Highway Administration, raised crosswalks are considered a safety countermeasure that can reduce pedestrian crashes by 45 percent. Here is a before and after photo on the Washington Street corridor showing a raised speed table. A speed table is a raised hump in the roadway as depicted in the after photo on the right side of this slide. Proper signage will accompany the raised speed table, providing notice to the oncoming vehicles of the table ahead. According to an Institute of Transportation Engineers study presented at a 2003 annual meeting, raised speed tables are considered a safety countermeasure that can reduce the total number of crashes by 38 percent and reduce the total number of injuries by 93 percent. The project is currently in design to be completed spring 2023. Construction is expected to begin late summer of 2023. The estimated design cost is $1 million, and the estimated construction cost is $1.3 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by July 2nd, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448789-1. You may also contact project manager Todd Long directly by email at todd.long at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5558 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 448789-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, Please submit them by July 2, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448789-1. Have a good evening.